Hi, welcome to The Speak Boutique. I'm Tali Kellerstein, pediatric speech language pathologist, helping children make great sounds. A question that parents often ask me and every speech pathologist is how long will speech therapy take? And before I answer that question directly, we need to rewind and think about what is entailed in speech therapy. What are we asking children to do? So speech therapy is taking a movement that, is, that comes naturally to a child and asking that child to do the movement or make the sound in a way that's unnatural for them. Even though it sounds better to us, it's not natural for that child. It's a big ask and it's similar to if I were to ask you to change something that you do really naturally. Think about the rhythm of your breath or the way you walk. So if I told you every third step you take from now on, you need to tiptoe. So instead of going step, 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 step when you walk, you need to go step, step, tiptoe, step, step, tiptoe the whole day. That's basically what we're asking our children to do. But it's even trickier what we're asking them to do because we're not asking them to universally use this new movement that we've taught them. They now have to think about where to put that sound. So if a child is sticking their tongue out and going than instead of sun, they need to know that they need to put their new sound, that s sound, their s, in the right place. They can't just glue it on every single sound that they're saying, otherwise we're not gonna understand anything that they're saying, it defeats the purpose. So we're actually asking them to change a movement that they're doing all the time throughout their day and in a variety of contexts. It's a very, very difficult thing that we're getting them to do. So then back to our original question, how long will it take? And the answer is it depends. It depends on a variety of factors. It depends on the age of the child, how motivated the, ch the child is, um, how attentive they are, their cognitive level, how easily they learn the, uh, the new sounds. Sometimes children are too young to learn specific sounds. Um, they're not developmentally ready and it's not fair to push them for that sound. On the flip side, sometimes a child has been making a sound a specific way for a long time and that movement is very much ingrained for that child and so it becomes difficult uh, or more challenging to, um, to correct that sound. Having said that, you are never too old to work on a speech sound. Uh, another question we get a lot. I know this isn't the concrete, pretty, tidy, in a gift box answer that you were hoping for, um, but it's the honest one. For children who are milder and more motivated uh, and who have fewer speech sounds to work on, sometimes a couple of sessions is enough and they can uh, take what they've learned and run with it. For children whose speeches in the more severe range who have more sounds to work on. It can take months and it can take years. It really depends on the child. And so the best thing to do is come in with the philosophy that we will move as fast as a child can handle, but as slow as each individual child needs. Thank you so much for watching. That's my soundbite for today. Please subscribe, comment, invite your friends, share. See you next time.